Hold on to your wallets. That's sexy. Here comes Britain's most shameless gold diggers. I'm a professional gold digger. Money makes me happy. Will you pay for all this? Because obviously I don't carry cash. Experts in the art of rinsing men for cash. I'm not going to pick up the pillow, am I? Tonight. Is there someone there who's worth me coming? A professional sugar baby hunts down the rich and famous. Rich men love pretty girls. We meet a self-styled gold digger. Come on, get paid now. Oh. Who hit the jackpot when she nabbed a millionaire. And he's got a large penis which helps. And like bees to honey, the ladies who swarm around one rich man. That one's done it for me. Who's loving every minute. I'm dating four or five women at all times. It was money that attracted me to Mark. And that's the God's honest truth. Thirty-one-year-old Laura lives in Liverpool, and she's carved out a very lucrative career. So some people are saying I'm a gold digger. I think I dig for gold. So. So you are a gold digger then? <laughs> yes, I am. But I'm a smart one. That's sexy. Laura knows the secret to getting cash out of men. If I'm gonna go on a date and I know that they're worth it, I would have to put in to get out. Just make sure that I lock a million dollars for them and then they'll want to spend a million dollars on you. <laughs> and that's exactly what they do. In return for looking fabulous, Laura expects designer gifts. I often get things valued and it kind of tells me the value of the person as well. So I kind of know whether it's worth me going on a second date with them. This Bulgari necklace. It's worth two and a half grand. If I'm bored of a weekend, I don't have to go and spend my own money. I could get someone to take me to the best restaurant or take me shopping and... You'd be stupid not to do this. Social media is where Laura snares her men. And she's after some sexy new snaps for her Instagram profile. I constantly post pictures. I'll make sure that I do look perfect on them. And I write captions that make you intrigued. You've got to be smart about who you talk to. The one where I was sticking my bum out, that'll go on my Instagram. Men love them kind of pictures. Rich men love pretty girls. It's going to help me get a date. With her new profile pics up online, Laura hooks up with friends Kath and Lisa to see who's taken the bait. Oh, yeah, he's a cute girl, isn't he? Oh. His manager is like, oh. yeah, like, looks after them. Uh -huh. He likes the same lifestyle, so we get to, so, yeah, yeah. which is good. Never one to miss the opportunity of getting money out of a man, Laura is quick to lock down a date with this minted football agent. I'm just going to reply. But why settle for one when you can juggle your way through the rich and famous? I've just got a message on Facebook. Um, I've posted a picture, he must like me picture. And this is the kind of profile where you just know, like he's with really rich celebrities. It looks like he's on private jets. It looks like he's in a Rolls Royce. It's like, hey hon, when are you coming to London next? Let's spoil you. That can only really mean one thing. What's that? Shopping. <laughs> What else is it going to be? I'm going to spoil you with cuddles. Come on. <laughs> if there's one thing you never give a man when you're digging for gold, it's sex. The more they think they're going to have you, the more they will spend, because it's like the chase, and they'll just keep giving you gifts, giving you gifts, hoping that ultimately they get to have you in the end. And then I'll probably block them and move on. <laughs> I'm just going to reply, and my reply simply is, I love being spoiled. They're the kind that I really like because straight away I know he's got money and he wants to spend it on me. While Laura reels in her latest catch, in Doncaster, 46-year-old Noli could give any aspiring gold digger a run for their money. 15 years ago, she struck gold when she met her third husband, 67-year-old multimillionaire car dealer, Robin. After we'd been shopping, I thought I'd just treat you down. To afternoon tea. Oh! The Earl of Doncaster, your favourite. I love it, though. 
Oh, Robin, I just love this shop. Every time I come, it makes me hyperventilate. I'm like, oh. 46-year-old Noli is determined to enjoy every penny of her husband's fortune. And she's proud and loud about it. That's a nice size, that, isn't it, as balls go? I love, I love that. There was a time in, in Spain uh, with Noli, uh, and it was a lovely day, and she's got a drape, she's very dressed nice. We're walking down the front, so there was a group of men on a corner. I overheard one of them say, he lad, I bet he's got a few bob. And Noli spun round and said, he's got a 10-inch cock, you fucker. <laughs> Like, I saw, I was in here a couple of weeks. The couple's unconventional romance blossomed 15 years ago when shop girl Noli first clapped eyes on Robin. When I saw him, I thought, oh my God, he was charismatic, he was handsome, but he did look a bit 70s poor. I thought Noli was a million dollars and couldn't Aww. wait to get her up there. Thank you, darling. <laughs> <laughs> Now, Robin, I'm like the Queen. Will you pay for all this? Because obviously I don't carry cash. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. I ran out of till roll when you come in. Oh, you are sweet. <laughs> when Noli married her sugar daddy seven years ago, she got more than a ring on her finger. She's set to inherit is a 110-acre estate. We've got an 18-acre wood. We've got three lovely fishing lakes, pasture land, wildlife everywhere. It's rather a nice way of life and a lovely bubble that we've created. Even more lovely for Noli, Robin provides three holidays a year, £20,000 shopping sprees... I can't... Just a kiss. Mm. ..and to date has doled out 200 grand for cosmetic procedures. No surprise, Noli has been branded a gold digger. But she couldn't give her stuff what anyone thinks. Call me a gold digger. I'll show a bloody gold digger. She's taken on the gossips and parked her very own gold digger in her garden. I would dig for diamonds. <laughs> I wouldn't be so cheap as to dig for gold. Coming up. Noli puts more of Robin's money where her mouth is. Oh, get paid oh that's that bit, is it? In Liverpool. You can get picked up in less than an hour. Laura gets down to business. I could walk away with an uh, eight grand watch. And in Essex. I like to have a pretty thing on my arm, purely because it makes me feel great. A 56-year-old is a magnet to beautiful young women. It was money that attracted me to Mark, and that's the God's honest truth. The favourite hunting ground for gold diggers is the high-end nightclub, and 56-year-old super-rich DJ and businessman Mark Vanderpomp is exactly the kind of prey they're out to trap. I have a very good income. I'm cash rich. Women approach you all night long. So they come to you and say, can you do this, can you do that? And I say, yeah, I'll do that, but um, give me your telephone number. It's a great way to meet women. Great way. Recently separated after 22 years of marriage, Mark's back to playing the field. And when you're as loaded as he is, you can get the youngest, hottest babes in town. I like to have a pretty thing on my arm. Purely because it makes me feel great. Mark might be lapping up the young lovelies, but the ladies on his arm have their own agenda. As close friend Towie's Abby Clark is all too aware. The type of women that are attracted to Mark as a protective friend, I would say, are gold diggers. But Mark couldn't care less. I have lots of girlfriends. I enjoy the company of women. People might think I'm a Lothario or a Flair. Mark is the ladies' man. Every single one of my friends that have ever come round and met him, he has tried it on with them. I'm dating a few women at all times. Let's say four or five. One of those current girlfriends is 32-year-old hairdresser Shadina, who's enjoyed the delights of Mark's luxury lifestyle for the past year. She approached me in a local nightclub. Then we exchanged numbers at the end of the night, and 
that was it, we connected. But it wasn't Mark's rugged good looks that caught Shadina's attention. I'm not a gold digger, but it was money that attracted me to Mark. And that's the God's honest truth. That is what girls are attracted to nowadays. I'm not being funny. It's just facts. I've gone a little bit further on the wine because I've got a guest. My good friend Shadina is coming for dinner. Despite seeing each other for over a year and Mark having lavished hundreds on her, as far as Shadina is concerned, this is purely a platonic relationship. There has been a few times where he has tried it and I'm like, um, I'm not being funny, but I think you had too much to drink. But after a year of waiting patiently, could Mark be hoping for less platonic and more pleasure this evening? In Liverpool, 31-year-old Laura makes a living targeting minted men. That's sexy. Over the last four years, her gold digging has unearthed a lorry load of designer gifts. I'd estimate I must have had way over 25,000 spent on me, just in clothes, shoes, bags, jewellery, money, trips. I think it's way over that. I have two wardrobes because there's not enough room to keep everything. Laura's success is down to targeting exactly the right kind of men, rich and desperate to spend their cash on her. And she wants proof up front. If I know it's someone who's got a lot of money and if they really want me, then I'd say to them, if you want to take me on a date, I need something to wear. They'd get, send me money to buy a dress. This dress was £900. I've worn it once. It's about getting what I can. The most expensive things. Laura is always the hunter and never the hunted when it comes to dating. Tonight's prey is a wealthy football agent. So for Laura, that means another new and free outfit. Hiya. Hi, Laura. Are you okay? How are you? How are you? I'm good. Hi, darling. Tonight's date has paid £350 up front for a bespoke dress. Let me date tonight. I've got me the dress. Are you going to wear this? Oh, wow. Yeah, Oh, Kath, that is beautiful. Glad you like it. Well, that is, that you yes, that is amazing. But it's unlikely this particular date will ever get to see his purchase. Do you know what, though? I think I'm just going to wear one of my own dresses tonight because it is more for going out. Yeah, but he will never know any difference, obviously, yeah. <laughs> because whatever dress I wear, he'll just think I look good anyway. At least that saves me money on buying a going out dress because a dress for a meal is going to be cheaper than a dress for a going out. So it's a really clever way of getting as much as they can. When it comes to digging money out of men, Laura is ruthless. One guy that I've been dating, he wants to marry me, so he's getting me an engagement ring for £33,000. Now, obviously, I'm going to take the ring, but I'm not going to get engaged to him. While Laura prepares for tonight's conquest, 200 miles south in Essex, loaded DJ and entrepreneur Mark has spent the last two years splashing the cash on pretty young things. I have a target on my back for gold diggers, I guess. You see the car, you see the apartment, you see the lifestyle. But when you're 56 and young women are throwing themselves at you, it's an arrangement Mark is more than happy to be party to. And tonight, he's arranged an intimate date at his bachelor pad for 32-year-old hairdresser Shadina. She's beautiful to look at. I just like to look at her. I've even photographed her. Mark has been spoiling Shadina on luxurious dates, but so far she insists the relationship remains purely platonic. He has offered me beautiful cabin holidays and I'm like, no, because I have to sleep in the same bed as you and it ain't even that time, bubble. I love you as a friend, OK? I probably have led him on to make him believe something's going to happen, but um, generally I am attracted to the lifestyle that he lives. While Mark is content to provide Shadina with a taste of his luxury lifestyle... I'm going to make her a drink when she comes. Um, martini cocktails, which is one of my specialities. Is he really looking for something more serious? I want everything to go right. Hey, how are you? Oh, of course. What's going on? You cool? Mm -hmm. You're right, yeah? Good. It's 
time for Mark's speciality to kick the night off in style. Is that olive juice? Yeah. Oh, I don't like olives. It's it's only salt water. No, no, it would literally make me want to throw up. Sorry, thank you, Mark. And things quickly go from bad to worse. Sorry, you know the lighting in here is really good at night time, so I have to do a little selfie. <laughs> Sorry. I'm not going to lie, I like the finer things. I like um, being wined and dined. And I like taking my selfies and my pictures in the nice places. All right, let's go. Yep, waiting on you, waiting on the food. Put the phone down. No, I'm taking a picture. That is pink champagne and strawberry cream. Mmm. Tastes like yoghurt. Cheers. Thank you. Ooh, this is nice wine. Tastes like fruit. Despite a distinct lack of romance in the air this evening, Mark hasn't given up. In regards to us... I think there was a moment. Mm, I don't think there was a moment. Well, I can't say I look at you as someone I'm going to be with because I would have been with you by now. The date with Shads was a disaster as far as I was concerned. Well, thank you so much for having me. Everything was scrumptious, love. You're going to walk into the door? Yeah. She didn't respond to my cooking. This is ridiculous. Okay. I'll see you soon. I'll call you anyway. OK. Oh, gosh. I mean, there was a slight romantic interest when I first met her. But all of a sudden, it seemed like there was nothing. Bye. Bye-bye. There's no point in spending money if um, it's not appreciated. Shadina might not be the one, but Mark's got a bevy of beauties waiting in his little black book. And someone else who loves men with money is Laura. Because I'm getting picked up in less than an hour. One good is really important to me, because no one wants to take a girl who doesn't look good on a date. If I invest in myself, then they're going to want to invest in me. If I spend... £250 to get ready, I could walk away with an uh, eight grand watch. So, if you do the maths, it's definitely an investment. Do you ever feel bad about doing this to men? I never feel bad about doing it to men, because men would do worse to me if they could. But what happens when the man splashing the cash expects a return on their investment? Obviously, most men do want to probably have sex with you. So they buy you things with the hope that they're going to get that. They think you owe them something. So they're kind of the stupid ones, like, to assume that you can buy someone and get what you want from 